Hey guys, this is a family trip to Montana. Family is ready and we are heading to Glacier National Park, a road going to the sand. So we got about an hour left to go uh, to hit the place. My wife is pretty happy. She is uh, in her country, US of A. We made it through the border. <laughs> and in the back here, there's white buffalo farm. We're gonna check it out right now. There is the white buffaloes. But they're quite far away. I can't get them closer. There's the munching on the grass. They don't even move. So we have just arrived to the entry of the Glacier National Park and we'll be heading the going to the sand road shortly. Another couple kilometers or miles. Beautiful sceneries all around us and uh, fall colors are spectacular. There's a little bit of haze for some reason, I'm not sure why. So this is uh, St. Mary's Lake just behind me. We'll continue the road, but uh, the problem is that we won't be able to do the whole Glacier Highway because it's open only on 17 miles up to Logan's Pass. Uh, there's some constructions going on apparently, uh, to our knowledge, what we were told at Visitor Center in the park. But this, the views are just stunning. We're getting, we're climbing up slowly here. Probably not too too far, but let's see how far we get. But here behind me, you can see all these mountains. Pretty nice. We didn't go again too far up the road and there's another pull out. Still, continue, still continuing on St. Mary's Lake. Tree on the rocks just behind me. Really tossing rocks into the lake. Did you make it? So that's only a, that's only as far we can go, log and pass. So we made it to the area where it's allowed, because the rest, the road is closed. Just in front of me there, I didn't film it, but. It was closed out there. So now we're just going to check out a couple overlooks out here. Last time when I was here on a motorcycle, everything was open. I made it through right across, but not today.
between the rocks somewhere. Waterton Lakes and Glacier meet along international boundary. Their location led to a further evolution of the park idea. In 1932, the governments of Canada and the United States linked these parks, creating the world's first international peace park. The landscapes has always been sacred to a Blackfeet, Salish and Kootenai people. It remains sacred for the enduring vision of peace embodied in its unique status. Two countries, two provinces, one state and the Blackfoot people share common boundaries and stewardship. Together, these groups protect and celebrate the diverse ecologies of the Rocky Mountain West. Warriton Glacier International Peace Park represents a vision of the world in which people set aside their differences to work collectively in the interests of all life for all time. This sacred place is the living embodiment of hope. Hope lives here in the recovery of animals like the wolf and the tramper swan, which were eradicated in many other parts of their original North American ranges. And in the survival here of their rare and sensitive creatures like the grizzly bear, lynx, bull trout, and a long-toed salamander. People travel from all around the world to renew their spirits in Waterton Glacier International Peace Park. The designations of the glacier and Waterton Lakes as a biosphere reserves in the 1970s referment of the global importance of this unique place. The International Peace Park gained worldwide recognition in 1995 when designated a World Heritage Site. Going to the Sun Road is a scenic mountain road in the Rocky Mountains of the Western United States in Glacier National Park in Montana. The Sun Road, as it's sometimes abbreviated in the National Park Service documents, is the only road that traverses the park, crossing the Continental Divide through Logan Pass at an elevation of 6,646 feet, or 2,026 meters, which is the highest point on the road. Construction began in 1921, and it was completed in 1932, with a formal dedication in the following summer on July 15, 1933. Prior to the construction of the road, visitors would need to spend several days traveling through the central part of the park, an area which can now be traversed within a few hours, excluding any stops for sightseeing and construction. <laughs>